for. First rule of soldiering. They pay, you don't ask questions. I learned that in the mud boots. Funny how things go. Thought I'd be in the army my whole life. Woke up one morning, a hangover from hell. Dragged myself over the hill to Latrine. Stayed there, seemed like days. No idea my unit was being attacked. Time I got back, wasn't no unit left. So I hooked up with the mud boots. Badass soldiers for the highest bidder. Thought I'd be with them forever, too. Till one day we're fighting this necromancer guild. I bring my boot down on this caster's skull. The ground beneath just gives way completely. Smash through to an old well straight to the bottom. Knock me out cold. I climb out. Goddamn wizards turn the whole company to dust. Alone. Again. After that, everybody thought I was bad mojo. Catastrophe knocks, they said. Assholes. Fine. I'll go into business for myself. After a while, the Crimson Empress's spy master shows up, gives me a choice. Do time for that poker scam I've been running on them Crimson Army officers, or work for him. It was a fair cop. First job, he says the Empress wants this girl, spooked with the Ghost Spider clan up in the mountains. I tracked her all the way to Leatherwood, except she ain't with the clan no more. Now she works alone. I can relate. Don't know what she did. But like I said, I don't ask questions. They don't kill her, I might even ask her out for a drink. Maybe another round of strip darts. Might not even cheat this time. But first things first, gotta deal with this crazy caster we just met. He's right about one thing. The place has got some serious issues. Not our problem. And I know there's a reward waiting if we succeed. A significant reward. Okay, caster. We're in, for the moment, but the payoff better be more than I can carry. Screw the reward. Not a fan of the mystical religious crap. Swords and shurikens are one thing. I remember that sound. Not every fearsome weapon's made of steel, nor every enemy of flesh and bone. What you believe or disbelieve's irrelevant. The horn has terrible power, and the Hierophant intends to use it. But, he does not yet know how. You want to find him before he learns how to use it? Yes! We must pursue him into the mines! Must? You're the one who said we didn't have a choice. This was the most beautiful port in the world. So where's the water? Asturi, Zampara, the Hierophant, the Ogre, this desert where a sea should be. We have the pieces. But how they fit together? To the docks! Quickly! Deeper and deeper. I don't like it. What was that all about? Wolf. In the old speech, Zampara means wolf. I believe the soul siren was once a story. My queen. What are you saying, Castor? I'm not sure. The crimes Zampara committed, they don't feel like acts I'm capable of. And yet, the Soul Siren spoke to me, knew me. I felt something. Was it nausea? Because I felt nausea. Your identity crisis can wait. First, we gotta put her back in the ground. It won't be easy. She's not remotely human. Tell me about it. She's probably recruiting zombies as we speak. I don't care if she's got a goddamn undead army. Everything dies, one way or another. As if someone wanted to bury it and banish it from memory. Possibly me. All coming back to you now, is it? I wish it weren't. It took an army of us to overcome the Soul Siren. We pulled her limb from limb and buried her deep in that tomb. She wouldn't die. Oh, no. I thought we'd left her powerless, but she must have somehow caused my illness. I went to the mountaintop to die, but she must have taken my soul and hurled it into the fires of hell itself to torture me for centuries. She could do that? Her power was clearly even greater than I knew. 
No wonder you want revenge. I did. But between the two of us, she and I have terrorized Bizan for far too long. This has to end. Then let's end it. Don't bother knocking. I think she's expecting us. I'll do it. A story. Zampara! You came back. We are bound for all eternity. Forgive me. We gotta get out of here. The place is coming down. So shut up and run! Think she's really gone? See, you like it. Of course, I've known enough casters not to take that shit at face value. <sighs> Case in point. Don't know how he survived. Doubt he meant to. Even after a thousand years, I think they still sort of loved each other. Must be why they hated each other so much. Aren't you the romantic? <laughs> Thought you were all about the reward. Why do you think the Crimson Empress sent you to find me? Not my problem. Plenty of spooks on our payroll. Not as good as me, of course. You ever met her? They pay me to keep my distance. Get my hands dirty so they don't have to. Good in a fight. You don't talk much. I'd work with you again. Thanks. I work alone. Right. Me too. How's a man supposed to die if the two of you talk so much? I'm tougher than he looks. Come on, what does she want with me, really? We get there, Spooky. You can ask her yourself. <laughs>